Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have four easy and budget friendly meal ideas to share with you. We're going to go ahead and hop right into the first one. This first recipe I made a one dish skillet dinner that actually came together really fast. I spent a total of eight dollars on the ingredients so it's super budget friendly and would also easily feed a family of four. To start I'm going to take this pack of beef smoked rope sausage and cut that up. Over in my skillet I'm going to heat a couple of tablespoons of butter. I've got two boxes of this rice aroni I'm gonna brown up I'm just using the beef flavor you could probably use whatever flavor you wanted to use While it's browning, I'm going to add my sausage to the skillet with the rice aroni and let that all brown together for a minute or two Next, I'm going to go ahead and add some other ingredients in to bulk it up. I've got a can of whole kernel corn that I've drained, a can of black beans that I've drained and rinsed. And at this point, I'm just going to follow the directions on the back of the rice aroni box and cook according to the package directions. And if you notice a flashing or changes in the lighting, I was also filming for my Instagram reels and TikTok. I like to share some of the recipes over there, so make sure to follow me if you haven't already. I'm just going to add those packets of the seasoning that come in the rice aroni boxes and give everything a stir. I'm going to cover and this will simmer on low for about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's basically ready to serve at this point, but I'm going to take it a step further and add some cheese to the top. That part is completely optional. You could totally leave the cheese off if you wanted to. I'm going to place the lid back on. I've got my burner off and I'm going to let that melt for about five minutes. This was really good, so I'm definitely going to be making it again when I need something cheap and fast. I kind of just made this one up, so I will type out the recipe in the description box if you want to make it yourself. Next up, I'm making a four ingredient chicken pot pie, another fast and budget friendly meal. So it's probably going to be cheaper to buy fresh chicken and just cook it yourself. But to save time, I opted to go ahead and get a rotisserie chicken. You could use canned chicken as well. In my area, canned chicken and rotisserie chicken was going to be about the same price. So I just went with the rotisserie and shredded some of that up. I'm going to dump all of this into a casserole dish and I'll worry about mixing it in just a second. So to that, I'm going to add two cans of cream of chicken. You could also use cream of celery if you want to, or you can do a can of each, which is what I like to do sometimes. Lastly, I'm just going to throw in a bag of mixed veggies and give everything a stir. For my crust on top, I'm going to use a can of crescent rolls. You could also use biscuits instead of the crescent rolls, but I'm just going to spread those out as much as I can. And this will bake on 350 for about 40 minutes. All right, so here it is out of the oven. This is one of those really cozy meals that you want to make on a cold day. There's something about it that's so comforting. Again, there's no clickable recipe link, but I will type it out in the description box for you. Next up, I'm making another one dish meal. You'll need two cups of diced chicken. So I'm getting that into my pressure cooker. Over in a large bowl, I'm adding the cooked diced chicken breast. Next, I have a can of black beans drained and rinsed along with a can of whole kernel corn drained. Two cloves of garlic minced and here I've got about half a cup of chopped green onion. I'm going to throw in three-fourths of those and save the rest for later. 
two tablespoons of chili powder, two tablespoons of lime juice, and lastly, a can of cream of chicken. I'm gonna give all of this a good stir, make sure it's all incorporated. So the recipe says to layer this in an eight by eight by two dish. I'm gonna use my oven safe skillet. It was close enough to the size. I don't think it's exact, but like I said, close enough. And we're gonna start layering the chicken mixture with corn tortillas that I've cut in half. And you'll just repeat until you run out of that mixture. You just wanna make sure that the last layer you have on top is the chicken mixture. I'm going to cover this with foil and bake on 350 for 30 minutes. After the bake time is up, I'm going to pull the foil off, add some shredded cheese to the top, and we're going to pop it back into the oven for about 5 minutes, just long enough for that cheese to melt. When it was all done, I just topped it with the rest of the green onion. This was so delicious. This one does have a recipe link I will leave down below. Lastly, I'm gonna make the best burgers I've ever eaten in my life. They had so much flavor. This recipe is called French Onion Burgers and here I have a pound of ground beef I'll be able to get about four burgers out of this. I'm gonna start by pressing them out as flat as I can get them and then season both sides with salt and pepper. I've heated my skillet to about a medium high heat and I'm gonna go ahead and place those burgers in and cook each side until both sides are well browned. Now I'm just gonna take a can of French onion soup mix and pour that into the skillet with the burgers. I'm gonna reduce my heat to low and let this simmer for about five minutes or so until the burgers are all the way cooked through. The last thing I'm gonna do is add some shredded cheese to the top and they are ready to serve. These burgers did not need a single condiment on the bun. They had so much flavor. The recipe also says that you can use the soup mixture in the pan for dipping if you like, but that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope that you enjoyed and you got some meal inspiration for your family. If you watch this video until the end, leave a flower emoji in the comments below just to let me know that you were here. I haven't completely decided what the emoji is gonna be yet, but for now, we're going with a flower. I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.